Laser Team is directed by Matt Hollum and stars all the Rooster Teeth people. It is a movie that most people have not heard of. It is a very, very limited release film and it is basically a movie only for Rooster Teeth fans. This movie is a fan uh, given film. It, it, it's a movie that the fans paid for and it, it, it's made by the Rooster Teeth people. So if you are a fan of Rooster Teeth, then you should, you already know about this movie basically because so many people contributed to it because they wanted it to be made because they liked the people over at Rooster Teeth and the people at Rooster Teeth wanted to make a movie for their fans and they put this together and bada bing bada boom, here we are, Laser Team. Laser Team is a movie that I have been looking forward to because I am a fan of Rooster Teeth and I love all the people and cast and crew that are there and this movie stars all of them. The, the main characters are basically Bernie, uh, Gavin, Michael, and then this newcomer that I, I, I'm not sure if he's a part of the Rooster Teeth clan or like he's just an actor. I saw him in some other TV show, but he, he he's the fourth member of, of the band here. And then all the other Rooster Teeth uh, characters are <laughs> all a part of the movie as well, but they're in like little parts. Bernie's in this part over here. Not Bernie, uh, Gus. He, you know, he, he pops up and then all the characters are all there. They pop up throughout the film, and it's nice seeing that. It, 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 it's, it, it's a fun movie to watch. Let me just start by saying this. This is not a good movie for fans. For This is not a good movie for people that aren't fans of Rooster Teeth, because it, just straight, straight and forward... The Rooster Teeth people are not exactly great actors, and they know that, you know, they, they, they never try to be anything better than what they are, you know, they, they're they only being themselves, and they're being these characters, and they're funny, and they, like that's what you go to see, is you see these these characters that they are, but they're not great actors. The There's some CGI in the film that is just laughable honestly it's just very um you could tell it's very low budget but the, the, you get past all that because you're not going to see this movie because oh the oh let me see the direction and oh the shot choice in here no you go because you want to support the people over at Rooster Teeth and you just want to see these people that you like and you want to see them in a movie and that's why you go and this movie delivers on that because there's a lot of funny scenes in here and it, it, it's a fun movie to watch but overall, as a film, I can't say that it's great, not even very good, because nothing is all that special about it. The acting is quite poor, and some of the CGI is laughable at best, and the direction is not very inspired, but you get past that. And I, I can put that aside, because I can just watch this movie as a fan of Rooster Teeth, and I enjoy their comedy, and their way of telling stories. And so on that level, I really enjoyed watching this movie. I just, I can't overall say as a film that, oh man, this is really good because all those things aren't there for it. But it's definitely a fun movie to watch and it's a movie that if you are a fan of Rooster Teeth, you already know all about it and hopefully you have a chance to see it. So overall, I was a little bit disappointed on the grander scale as a whole movie, but as a fan of Rooster Teeth, I enjoyed it. I can't take that out of my enjoyment of the movie. If you're not a fan of Rooster Teeth, I'm not sure if you'll find too much enjoyment in this. There are some laughs in there that you don't have to be on the inside for, because this movie is full of inside jokes, and you have to know the personalities of the characters of the Rooster Teeth people to really understand most of the jokes. And so I feel like if you're not a fan, then you're not going to understand most of it. But even still, just as a whole movie, and if you're not a fan, if you just so happen to catch it, there are some funny parts. So I don't, I feel like overall you wouldn't hate it. But if this was a movie with just random actors and it just came out and it was just like a January movie, no one would really like this movie too much because it's not really all that special. 
it's really only special because of the people in it and you know them and you're a fan and th that's completely understandable and that's why I enjoy the movie overall because I am a fan and I can understand the jokes so I, on that very fact alone I'm gonna give it a passing thumbs up I say three out of five for Laser Team it's definitely not a great movie it, I, I, I think a lot of the fans are overhyping it because, oh, it's the best thing ever because it's like you you see, you know, the, your favorite characters in a film, but overall it is a pretty disappointing movie, but it's fun to see this come together and you see all the characters you love. So overall, I, I give it a thumbs up. It was fun to watch. If you're a fan, you already all know about it and I hope you have a chance to see it. Um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this and you want to see more reviews from a guy like me, you can subscribe, and I'll see you at the next one.